going to book home shopping. This is for Ryan and Colin. They're going to be appearing on a home shopping channel and trying to sell the most difficult things you might be having to sell on a home shopping channel. And what we've got for you there is some waders. Um, Waiter. <laughs> <laughs> some waders with holes in. So that makes them rather difficult to sell. And, uh, and there's some uh, chewing gum chewed by somebody else already. <laughs> We'll try and sell those, plus one other object. Can we just describe another object which might be equally difficult to sell? Oh. A solar-powered torch. I think that just deserves to be there for sheer imagination already. <laughs> solar-powered torch. And those two other items on the shopping channel with you now. Hi, it's five o'clock and it's time to shop. I'm Cedro Woolley. And I'm Woodrow Seeley. <laughs> We want you to get out those checkbooks, relax, get something to eat, and get ready to buy. Shop, 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 shop. <laughs> Nothing subliminal about this. Hey, what's this I found under your chair? Oh, my gosh. Why, it looks like two discarded pieces of gum. You know, I have to admit, I love putting things under chairs like gum, but I haven't got the time in the day to chew. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm saying this gum is already chewed. So you save valuable time and just stick it under your seat. Time I can spend doing something else. Hey, what are those? Well, what do you think I have here? Well, they look like boots, but they can't be for going in the water, because they've got holes. <laughs> I've got to tell you that aquaphobia is destroying many of our young adults. Many of them are afraid to fish. But with the holy waiter, you stick your feet in, and slowly as the water starts to get up, you start to feel happy with the water. <laughs> sure, you tend to pee a lot, but that's just a byproduct. How much would you buy these for? You could use those for night fishing. Night fishing? Gee, if only there was a way to see in the dark with the moon. But you don't want something with a big flame, because that would scare the fish. No, what you want is a torch or mm. a flashlight. Not a torch with a flame. No, something solar powered. Solar powered? Powered by the sun. Now, how would that work at night? Well, Ryan will explain. <laughs> as you know, as you know, when it's dark here, it's still light somewhere else. That's why every solar powered torch is over 5,000 miles long. So you can get the sun on the other side of the world. And if you'll buy that, you'll buy anything. <laughs>